everyone. So today I thought I would film a book haul. Um, I love to read. I love to read. I've actually filmed a book haul on here before, but this one is still kind of big, but it's not as big as I think the last book haul. But I'm excited to share some things because I went shopping for some books and I found a lot of books. I am kind of like the type of person that goes to find books and just picks up literally random books. Like the most random books. Like if I find one that I, I want or that's in a series that I want to read, I just pick it up. It doesn't matter if I have the first book in the series or not, I just pick it up. So I'm going to start out with some of the books I've had for a little bit longer and then finish with some newer books that I've picked up. Um, I'm also going to do some um, like videos on like my book wrap up for August and then maybe um, like a TBR video for September if you guys are interested in that. I kind of thought that would be fun. I love watching those videos so I kind of wanted to do some and see how they turn out so we'll find out. But the first books I picked up are both by Jane Austen and I'm actually reading Pride and Prejudice right now. I'm not very far on page like 10 um, but I'm trying to read that book. And I, so I also picked up two other books by her because I wanted to read some of her books because people, I mean, always rave about how good her books are and they're just classic books. So first I picked up Persuasion by Jane Austen. And these aren't like any uh, fancy like uh, book or anything. Um, I'm not really like, I like the real nice looking books like if you can get like the special editions and stuff but for the most part when I want to read it, if I find it, I'll pick it up. So I picked up this one. And the next one I picked up was Sense, uh, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. So I got this one and I think this must be like the movie cover is what I'm thinking. And I've never seen this movie before, so I don't know. But yeah, so I got that one. Uh, the next book I picked up is Looking for Alaska by John Green. And um, I've not really read any of John Green's books. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? It just happens, you know, it is what it is, I can't help it. So I've never read um, his books before and so I thought I should probably read them. So I saw this book and I was like, I'm going to pick it up. So I got that one by him and I also got Paper Towns by him. Um, I'm actually going to read this one. I'm only on chapter one, I haven't started yet, but this is the first book I'm going to read. Um, I have The Fault in Your Stars, but I just haven't read it yet. That's so bad, isn't it? I feel like everybody's read John Green except for me. But yes, so I'm going to read this one. This is what I'm working on now. Hopefully I can finish it by the end of August. It's going to be quick because I have more, a little bit more time to read now. So I think I should be able to get it done. The next book I picked up is Mockingjay um, by Susanna Collins. The reason I picked this up is because I have the other Hunger Game books and I didn't have this one. And so I figured I would pick this book up so I have it in my collection. It's actually in really nice condition. I got all these from a used bookstore, so sometimes you're surprised by um, the conditioning of some of these books. So I got this one. And then the next two books are The Vampire Diaries, and I got two of them. And got these two. This one is The Vampire Diaries, The Fury and Dark Reunion. And then this one is The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and The Struggle. And I've never read The Vampire Diaries, so I really don't even know which one's the first book. So if you guys can tell me which one's the first book, is it just called The Vampire Diaries? Is that the first one? Let me know because I just picked these two up because I wanted to read the series. Um, so I just went ahead and bought these because I figured, well, at least I'll have these two out of the way. Uh, the next book I bought is uh, Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover. The reason I bought this book, it's very little, as you can see, is because I read this book in high school. Was it high school or middle school? I can't remember, but I read this book when I was younger and I loved it. Like, loved it. And it's about, oh, where is it? She ends up being like pr private security. So it's kind of like a spy book and I don't know, I just really enjoy those types of books. So I didn't read this particular one because there's a lot in the series. So I figured I could pick this book up and read this one since I read the other one um, and maybe read some other ones because they're so cute. They are and they're such a fast read so this won't take long at all. But this might be a good book for fall I think. I might read this in fall. The next two books I picked up um, is Extras and Specials by Scott Westerfield and I picked up these because I bought uglies um, but I realized I don't have pretties. So I still don't have the second book in the series, so this is what happens. But I have 
the third and fourth books, so as soon as I, I haven't read Uglies, the first book yet, so it's okay. So as soon as I finish that, I have to get Pretties, then I have these two books to follow after. So um, my friend in high school used to read these books, and I never picked them up because I didn't know what they were, but she really liked them, and so when I saw them, I thought, well, I can read those, and they're not hard to read. I mean, they're, they're really pretty easy. So I got those. Um, the last two books from the used bookstore is just some books that I, I, I have this weird habit of if I see a Harry Potter book and it's in pretty good condition, I have to buy it. Like it doesn't matter if I have it. Like I bought The Prisoner of Azkaban and I have like, no this is my second copy of this book. So I have two copies of this now. <laughs> like why? And I don't know why but I just, it's like I just have to have it if I see it because I just can't pass it up because I just love Harry Potter. So I had to get it. So I got that one and then the next one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And I got this, this was actually, I picked this up for a reason. It's in great condition, like great condition. Um, and the book that I had for Deathly Hallows, um, I didn't have a dust cover with it. And so it looked terrible. And this book is in such better condition. I thought I'm gonna pick this book up because it looks great. So I figured I can read the other book then keep that one really nice. Uh, or keep that one, you know, older, and then this one can be really nice and be like really pretty to display. So I did buy that one for a reason. The next books that I bought um, is I bought some. I went to Hastings. Our Hastings going out of going out of business. And I'm so sad. I just can't even. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Anyways, our Hastings going out of business, so they have great deals right now, and so. I went in there and got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, I didn't have this book. No, I did have this book. No, I didn't. I didn't have this book. I had Harry Potter and the Half, no, The Order of the Phoenix. I had two of those because I thought I didn't have one of those and I went ahead and bought another one, but this is the book I was actually missing. So I went ahead and just bought it and they didn't have the hardcover. Um, this was like the only book left of this. Like they've sold out of like all their Harry Potter books. So. I bought this one just to have it, and it was $12.99, but it was like 40% off, so not very expensive at all. The next book I bought is The Unexpected Everything, and I actually got this from Myers, and um, I read this book already, and I really enjoyed it. So if you haven't read this, this is a good book. This is fun to read, so fun to read, and I love the cover of it. And this book just has ice cream and dogs and love, you know everything a girl could want so it is so cute I definitely recommend this book I thought about doing a book review on this I'm not sure if I'm going to or not but this will be um, put into my August book reads or whatever because I did finish this and I finished this book in like two days it's a very fast read it, I mean it's so good you don't want to stop reading it so oh, did you hear that that was my dog <laughs> anyways the last book I have is one that I'm very excited about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have not read this. I got it in when I pre-ordered it, so I've had it for a while. But I'm trying to reread all the Harry Potter books before I read this one, and I have I just started this, so I'm only on the first book. I'm almost done with it, and then I can move to the second book. So I have a while, and I know I'm behind on the ba the bandwagon. But I literally wanted to wait until I finished all those books, and I was going to start that way back and try and finish it. So by the time I finish this came out. But that didn't work, too much stuff came up, and so I decided that I would just go along and do it at my own pace. It doesn't matter. I've heard mixed reviews about this book, so I figured, what's it matter? So I'm going to wait and read it, and then this will be in a, um, probably a book review a lot later on, because I got a while. Got a long time. That is all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like book hauls, please let me know. If you don't, I don't want to do them. Um, I just want to try and do some things, you know, that you guys enjoy and I enjoy. And if you guys wanted to see more, please let me know. If you have any book recommendations, please list them below because I'm always looking for new books to read, always, and I love them. So just let me know, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!